Hi all, my name is Mradul and this video is all about step-by-step -step cluster creation procedure in the IBM WebSphere application server. Creating a cluster in the IBM WebSphere application server is one of the essential tasks for a WebSphere administrator and necessary to provide the application high availability and workload balancing. Now let us talk about what is clustering. A clustering is a set of application servers that you manage together as a way to balance the workload. There are lots of benefits in having an application deployed in a cluster mode. Likely, it ensures application is always available for one of the cluster member. High availability if one or more JVM is down. No issues if one of the cluster JVM's physical server is down. No or minimum downtime during the restarts. Easy maintenance and no need to deploy on multiple JVMs. Instead, just select the cluster as the target. There are two types of clustering available to scale your WebSphere application. Firstly is the horizontal clustering. Horizontal clustering is one of the widely used clustering type where you host your application on multiple JVM servers using a single cluster. The next is the vertical clustering. Vertical clustering having all the JVM server under cluster on single physical server. A WebSphere cluster can be a single point of failure when a server goes down. With WebSphere 8.5 or higher, you can also create a dynamic cluster which is different from the traditional cluster. So based on the requirement, you got to decide which clustering type to use. WebSphere cluster creation is possible either through GUI or through command line. The GUI is the administrative console or the command line is the web was admin scripts. So I'll be showing you how to create a WebSphere app cluster using a GUI. Log in to WebSphere DMGR admin console. Then you need to navigate to servers, then go to clusters, and then go to WebSphere application server clusters. Now here, click on new, where you need to enter the cluster name, and then click next. Enter the cluster member and select the node where you want to create. You have the option to create a member using an application server template. Using an existing JVM as the template, convert existing JVM as a cluster member and create an empty cluster. I've chosen to create using a default template. You can create an additional class member in next screen if you need. Once done, review the summary and click on finish. Lastly, review and synchronize the configuration in the master console. This concludes the cluster is created and ready to be used. Now let us verify that. Go to the WebSphere application servers. Under that, go to server types. As you can see, I have created two JVMs using a cluster member as the cluster. By default, they will be in the stop state. To start, you can either start the JVM or the whole console or the whole cluster as a whole. If you have the multiple JVMs in the cluster, you need to restart all. Then you can restart the entire cluster in a time. If you need to create JVM in the existing cluster, then you can do it as following. Log into the TMG console, go to servers and then go to clusters. Now you go to need to go to WebSphere application server clusters. Click on clusters from the list where you want to create a JVM. Click cluster member under additional properties. Now you need to click new, enter the JVM name and then select the node where you want to get it created. Click on add members. Once added, click on next and then finish. You don't need, need don't forget to review and synchronize the changes in the master console. I hope this quick guides help you to understand how to create a cluster in the IBM WebSphere application server. Thank you.